former Republican Governor Rick Snyder uh, had an op-ed uh, in the Detroit uh, Free Press that he is going to be voting uh, for Joe Biden. I am a Republican uh, who is going to be voting for Joe Biden. Uh, yes, uh, Joe, I think a lot of people will be surprised to hear that, although I, I, I think that uh, you and I and, and others who have followed the career of, of the guy who fashioned himself one tough nerd uh, when he was the governor of Michigan won't be totally shocked. I mean, you know, Rick Snyder, obviously the Democratic partisans in Michigan uh, found a lot to dislike about, about, uh, about, about Governor Snyder, but he was, he's a kind of a Kasich Republican. There's a great similarity between those two governors. Obviously, Kasich has been more uh, openly uh, negative about President Trump, but the two of them culturally on a lot of issues in terms of how they position themselves and in terms of their ability to succeed in two states with very similar demographies and very similar partisan breakdowns. You know, you look at Kasich, you look at Snyder, the very similar kinds of, of, of appeal. And they had a lot of appeal in those states to conservative Democrats and to moderates. Uh, the notion that Snyder ends up in this place, they've also been, they also notably have been advised by some of the same never Trump Republican strategist, John Weaver, uh, uh, who's one of the main players in Project Lincoln, uh, someone who has advised both Governor Snyder and Governor Kasich. And I, I would not be surprised to learn that, uh, that John Weaver has been in the ear uh, of Governor Snyder. It's a big boon for the Biden campaign. As you know, Joe, they spent a lot of time in the Democratic convention to try to combat Trump's argument that Joe Biden was a puppet of the left, the way in which they tried to get ahead of that was by bringing out a lot of Republican endorsers uh, in the course of the convention and afterward. This continues that trend. It's been one of the most striking things of, of, the, of this month of August is just the outpouring of support for Joe Biden among establishment Republicans. Uh, Snyder is the latest, but I do not think the last establishment Republican who will surprise us, uh, surprise us uh, and end up in Joe Biden's column. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.